Hello and welcome back to 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. Here with Quino for the end of our Swiss odyssey of beers. That, uh, oh, the end already? Well, it's all right. I've got beers at home that need reviewing at some yeah. point, but they're not from Switzerland, but they are from other places. So what we have here is f the first brewed in 2004. It's 11%. Mm. Um, but this is the 2018 edition because we've got something quite special here. And this mm. is the uh, Ab Abbé de saint bon Chien. So Murder, murdering the, French, the, well the, done. the Abbey the Abbey of the Saint Good Dog. <laughs> that's what it means. Okay. So that's what it means. Abbey, Saint, Good Dog. Chien means dog, so there we go. Good dog. Um Although there is that a picture cat. There is a picture of a cat uh priest or abbot, the cat abbot. Cabot. Cabot. I'm trying to get this to, because he keeps wanting to focus on our face. I'm yeah. not sure you can see it too well. Oh, well. There we are. Forget about it. It's, it's, it's scribing a manuscript. Yes. That's what you need to know. So, um, would you like to, uh, oh, should we, should we, actually, should, or should we? Mm. Oh, yeah. So Professional. I'm not professional because we've had pop tops. That is not a pop top. Oh, dear. No well, why are we going? You see that? We've got someone getting open. Well, we've got, actually got something also very special. So, uh, so I'll just tell you about this beer. First of all, it says every vintage is different, but expect an almost flat, oily, sour ale. Mm, oily, mm. Uh, reminiscent of oud brunes and fortified wines. Oh, I like those spices, dark fruit, wood, and leather merge into a rich, smooth beer. This sounds fascinating. It does. Um, but something's very important to point out it says this beer is a sour mash beer that's fermented with a traditional ale yeast and then transferred into a collection of oak casts that have been contained all kinds of wines or spirits Ooh, this sounds good. um my kind of thing yeah since some of the casks bring more to the nose and some more to the palate the trick to blending is to combine them to reach a balanced beer without faults or blurry bits the few casts that stand well enough without blending are sold as Abbé de saint bon Chien Grand Cru. Ooh, and they? guess what else we've got? Well, we've also got enter the Grand Cru. So we've got two. We've got two versions of this beer to have a go at. Uh, this is a very limited edition. It's got a moustache so on the label. Very limited edition. What's the moustache all about? Barrel aged. Double maturation. Um, Ruby port. I don't anyway. know why there's a moustache. Why not? Doesn't say. Doesn't say any particular reason. Brewed in 19, uh, 2019, bottled in 2021. And this is a 2018 edition here. So, can I give you the bottles to yeah. to distribute uh, the beers? Um, so, I'm going to, so I, shall I open both at the same time? So... Yeah, let's yeah. compare and let's, contrast. Let's, let's do yeah. a lot in one go. All right. Or do you want to do this one first and then the other one second? I think we should do this one first and then the other first. one right. second, okay. and then we can do a, right. let's do that. a mix and match. Let's do it. I'll take the second glass away for now. Yeah, it gives you less air time. That you yeah. have to it's a well big old. Uh, it's got a big old thing. It hasn't got a cork as well, has it? That'd be amusing if it does. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay, that's cool. it looks like. Oh, oh, wow! Get this it. is this is a bit of a bust. Oh, isn't it? yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's quite a big bottle cap that one. Mm. And this is your classic uh, bottle. It's got this, like the champagne bottle. It's got the, the thumb. Yeah, and it's got underneath. it's got the gunky bits at the bottom. Um, but that right. makes it a lot easier with the thumb piece. So you've got ahead. you've got. So you're happy. Recipient. So you're happy with this one. Yes. This one, right? Yes. I suppose have the, the nice, the cleanest glass possible for the poshest beer. Oh wow! Look at that. That looks very fancy. Right, so I'm just going to make sure that. Uh, our glamorous assistant off screen who was the main protagonist for sorting out the sourcing of these beers um, has been looking forward oh, to these. smell that already. That smells delicious. Equal portions, which is fair enough. So we've all got the same glass, so I can measure them out properly. It looks viscous. Viscous. Excellent use of the word does look viscous. I'm being very careful. There is a lot of sediment at the yeah, bottom of doing, this. Yeah, you're doing well here. So it's not great if you've got Parkinson's trying to pour this, but we're getting there. I think we're stirring the sediment a bit now. Um, I'll get a little bit more out of this and then I'll leave what's in the bottom and 
somebody can finish it off later if they like. Yeah. Okay. Great. This is this is fine precision here. Wow. I mean, yeah. There's a little bit left. But look at that. It looks like. Well, I don't know what it looks like, but it's it's just. It looks like it's been fished out of the room. <laughs> Should we go for a smell? <laughs> oh. Oh, that smells. <laughs> that is going to be almost certainly a pucker. This has got big, fat Duchesse style vibes about it. Mm-hmm. It basically smells of pickling vinegar and 50 year old leather boots. Delicious. Which, um, you know, is a surprisingly lovely combination. Right, shall we have some pickled boot? Yes. Cheers. Salut. That is as flat as a pancake. It's supposed to be, though. Is it meant to be yeah, flat as a pancake? It, it says, expect an almost flat, oily, sour ale. It does. Oh, yes. Well, I, was, I was busy trying to lever the top of this off when you were chuntering through the tasting notes, so I missed that. I was expecting a bit more behind nope, it. No, it's supposed to be flat. Oh, okay. It's it's a it's a punch. I'll give it that. Mm. It's very leathery. Ooh. It's very very tart, tart and leathery. Mm. If you if you pickled an old boot, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. I'm not sure what I think of this. Actually, it smells great. It's not delivering. It's not necessarily delivering the taste that the smell implies. No. The fact that it's, it's there is flat, f- there, is, there is zero life in this. It is, it is flat as a pancake. Quite a, there's quite a fruity edge to it, though, as well. Mm. I'm getting quite berries. and But it is... Are you? I'm getting Kate Winslet's mum's pickled onions in there. Oh. Topical. Um, Bedding lasts. Uh, a winner of the Retreats Pickled Onion competis- and, uh, competition back in the day. Yeah, and dead. Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Always first with the news. Yeah. yeah as of about <laughs> ten years ago. I, I knew that... I knew sorry, that to her, bre- sorry to break it to you. I, Spoilers. I, knew, I knew that her mum had was a regular in the Retreats Pickled Onion mm. competition. So yes. That's she hasn't cool. won in many years. <laughs> well, no. Not unless she can Ouija board the MSP from Beyond the Grave. Yes, um, that is very interesting. It is... Yeah, interesting is the way to describe it. Should we try the special one um... and, and compare and contrast? Mm. See what we think. I don't think you like it, do you? I'm liking it a lot less than I thought I would. I think that's the key there. I was expecting something that... I was expecting a kind of duchess on steroids. Mm. Uh, Tanya, without having to speak, thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, we've got a thumbs up over there. Okay, right. So we've got at least one fan. I reckon this one's going to be also flat as a pancake. Yeah. Because I'm not hearing any any. There, any wasn't, there, wasn't, there wasn't much when I... But I, I'm almost certain that's supposed to be the case. Yeah, yeah. No, it does It does say very specifically, so that's fair enough. Right, so let's see what this one's right, about. Right, so that's your glass. Yes. That's my glass. Yes. And this is going to be our oh, glamorous assistant's glass. Yes. Right, so... It looks exactly the same. It's a bit harder to measure out because we've got three very different glasses now. We're on to the last few bits of our glassware now. Just have to try and do it based on the pour and see what we get. I mean, sour beer is an acquired taste as a general concept. Oh, and I'm, yeah. I'm glad I have acquired the taste because I can see how... I mean, I can see how someone who would, would say they like beer would not like this. No. Because it's not beer as you know it, Jim. <laughs> um, it's something else entirely. Yes, it is still actually beer. I would leave it there. Yeah, I was going to say. Actually, this one's poured a lot better than that okay. one. Right, there we go. Um, so it looks... If we compare the, the look... Quite similar. This one's a little bit darker. darker. A little bit darker, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit darker. This um bit more bit more ruddy the smell isn't quite as intense oh i don't know this one's how this one smells a bit more like oh no, sherry almost 
I'm getting sherry on that. Can I see the bottle, please? Uh, you can, of course. Okay, In fact, so we need to be hold it up. Yes, okay. we did. Yeah. yeah. So this one, yeah, it says Ruby Port Barrel A Strong Sour Ale. Double maturation, 12 months, red wine barrel, six months in Ruby Port barrel. So, okay, right. Let's get that in there for a minute. Right. Go for the taste. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Salute. Oh, mm, mm -hmm. that's oh, better. Yeah, that's better. That's mm. better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the port. The that's, port really comes through at the end. This, that's good. The Grand Cru is superior. The other one's quite good. This is. That's knocks it out the park. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do you, do, this is, that, this yeah, okay, we have an agreement over there. Yeah, yeah. This one's quite good. I'm gonna, now going to save the Ruby Port one because that because that's got that really is fruity. Mm. Whereas this one is is just it's 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 um starts it's very sharp. Maybe that's more tart. Oh. I think this is very sharp. You get the you get the leather boot in the in the mouth. Yeah, that one um, is, and then it just blooms into this yeah, woody port flavour. That's, that's much that's nicer. So good. That's much mm. much nicer. Yeah, big fan. Oh, I'm glad yeah. we. I'm glad that's kind of. I think that's saved the night. Really, I think that's because uh, if that had been the ending one, I would have been a little bit disappointed. But the having the Grand Cru version is that's very good indeed. Yeah, well, when we were in uh, uh, beers of. Is it Beers of the World? I can't remember the name of the shop now. That's um, right, Beers of the World. Where we, where we, where we got this. Um, we were ummed and ahed about whether we should get both. And we were like, ah, sod it, why not? We'll get both. Uh, yeah. And I'm very pleased to because we didn't know in the book it meant, um, it mentions... Yeah, there you go. This. So this is uh, serendipity. Very good. Yeah. Um, and I'm so glad we did because this is excellent, really good stuff. Oh, you could, you could spark yourself up a good cigar and have this next to it. That would be nice. Do you like cigars? I do. I've not had one for a long, long time, but I do. I do like them. I've got out of that because I don't smoke anymore. Mm. I've got out of the habit of buying tobacco products, and obviously now mm. it's hard work to try and get hold of them. Um, but I, occasionally, I think. Oh, should you try some I of do, the? I do fancy a cigar. Maybe you should go some of the schnoosh. Uh, the, little, the little bags of tobacco you put underneath your thing. They're, oh, right, they're, no, right, they're no, horrible. No, 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 no. I've tried them. They're disgusting. Perhaps perhaps for Christmas I will treat myself to a cigar. I will have it on my little list of things oh, to buy ready for Christmas. Crazy. I will kick, have a... kick back with one. Do you have a smoking jacket to go with it? Uh, no, no. And some some fine leather-bound books? <laughs> Uh, smoking jacket. It's that's like the Mary Whitehouse experience sketch, isn't it? The one that the character that Rob Newman played so many years ago. I can't remember what the name of the character was, but he was basically like a kind of louche sex pest, if I remember rightly, with his smoking jacket and his um, uh, pipe. What was it? What was it? Pipe. What are the things that cigarettes are on the end of? I don't know what they're called. You know, Bet Lynch used to have one in Corrie. Yeah, I don't know what they're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a name for them, but I forget. I think he had one of those actually rather than a cigar. Well, I think we'll leave it there on sex pests. Um, <laughs> it's always topical, sex yeah, pests. Yeah, there's, I mean, the, the, yeah, uh, especially in the beer world. <laughs> <laughs> go to go to early pubs, and you'll find a sex pest. Mm -hmm. Probably, allegedly, maybe not. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for another beer review very, very soon. Bye.